Hello, my name is Richard and I am a DIY kind of guy. I was a combat engineer in the Marine Corps for about four years. Uh, always did stuff myself from cars to home building and pretty much you name it I could do it. So I figured I'd start a channel with some reviews and uh, suggestions, comments, tips, whatnot um, about whatever. So. Today I'm doing a, a video on amp hour time batteries. I uh, bought them off eBay. They do sell them on uh, Amazon. They also have a website. And they're just good people. I've uh, contacted them about questions and stuff before I uh, decided to buy from them. And they were quick to respond, answer my questions without any issues. And um, they just seem like good people. They ship my product promptly. Uh, it took a few days, a little longer, because it was 4th of July weekend. Um, so, but it wasn't the end of the world. I was using these uh, monstrosities down here. Uh, hold on. Do, do, do. Let's see here. These Tesla modules here. I had, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had ten of them all together and uh for about two years they worked fine and then all of a sudden they just stopped working properly max i would get out of them is about 150 amp hours at night which would last until like one in the morning just running basic stuff like the fridge and deep freeze uh, watching an hour or two of tv on led tvs so sort of got into a little what to do about it and this actually led up to me buying multiple things first i tried to buy a sigineer 12,000 watt uh, charger inverter because it has a lower cutout threshold because the tesla modules are only uh, 6s so the voltage is like 22 which just sucks and um, they die fast so i upgraded that first and it still only gave me a little extra amp hours out of it. it cut off early. Um, Sigineer, also another good company. They communicated great, uh, answered all my questions as well as they could. Uh, yeah, I have no issues with them. They uh, allowed me to do a local pickup because they have a, a warehouse in Phoenix. It saved me $500 or something. So just to go pick it up myself, uh, which was really great. It took like five minutes uh, to meet there, pay the guy, get the receipt. Came out and loaded it up into my truck with a, a pallet jack and super easy. I was on my way. Um, they helped me with uh, adjusting the voltages uh, because it, the one I bought was set to cut off at 40 volts. And... Uh, it was, I was wanting to like 36 just to make use of the, uh, of the Tesla module issue. And, um, but anyways, it's a great charger inverter. I'll, I'll review that here shortly in a minute. Um, let's see. Let's go, uh, check out the, my battery room. Uh, pay no attention to the mess. I'm, I'm a disabled veteran. And uh, I have an autoimmune disease, which causes a lot of issues when walking. So uh, I do what I can. But my property is definitely uh, a little bit on a low priority. I live in Arizona. We have uh, 40 acres, live off grid. Let me uh, flip my camera around here. All right, let's go bigger, boom. All right, go swing up here. Here's my uh, solar arrays. Had a, a wind come and break this bottom left one here because it, it wasn't secured right, it's DIY. I, uh, this is my second array. These are 375 watt LG panels, LG Neon, and then, uh, Oop. right here these are 325 watts I got them I, everything I get from Santan Solar down in uh, well Santan Arizona 
these panels were like a hundred bucks each. They're great. Uh, they give me no issues whatsoever. These right here on the ground are the first ones I've ever bought, which were huge. Uh, right now they're just secondary to my, I use them on my inverter charger. So I don't even know if they put anything out right now. Parkour. Alright, so as I said, I'm off road or off grid. So this is my water tank. Uh, the wellhead is over there in that box right there. And I just fill the water tank up maybe once a month and then uh, I just run it off of a, a well pump or no, sorry, a pressure pump that's over here. I used to have my generator in there, the backup generator, uh, but I recently moved it because uh, it was giving me issues, which I figured out it was the voltage regulator going bad. So um, this is just something I put together real quick just to give it a little protection. I have two backup generators here. Yeah, Generac, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I tear it apart to figure out how to wire it to my inverter uh, charger so that it will do an automatic generator start, which uh, I'm going to work on that again later. Uh, that works great. The Furman down there is the one I had set up. Oh, oh, technical difficulties. One second. What is going on? All right, sorry about that. All right, the Furman's what I was using for my, uh, right there. It doesn't really take that good of an angle. Anyways, that's what I was using for my uh, generator because whenever the battery get low, I just have a remote, just flip the switch from inside and it would turn it on and charge up my batteries. I had, uh, I had to set up with this, this little muffler here so that it would, all the exhaust would go out. Recently, I cut this little hole here for the heat to get out because it was getting really hot. Um, this is going to the house underground right here. I have, uh, that is real basic. And uh, 70 amp breakers going into the house. And then there's also a shut off switch in the back of the house. This is a four by four building that I made uh, specifically in mind for the test of the batteries, which is good for the, uh, Lithium polymer also They have a Temperature control fan here. So if it gets above 90 degrees It turns on you see it's running right now. It's 113 uh, There's a temperature sensor up here and then I have the uh, vent up there as well All right, so here's what I have going on at the moment I have two midnight solar classics on each side and uh, yeah, this one's done 7.7 .7 kilowatt hours today. That one's done 3.9, nothing great. Um, I don't even have the inverter charger on. I have shut off switches in here because it's easier to get everything. If you're working on stuff, you don't want to be going all the way out to the solar array and coming back. There you go. Just flipped on the, the solar. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be putting anything out. Seventy-five volts. No amps. Oh, what? Four amps. There you go. So three hundred and eighty watts. Five hundred. Not bad for some throwaway panels. Seven hundred watts. Um, let's see here, the Amper Time batteries, 300 amp hour, and then I have four of them. They, like I said, they're great people. They communicate well, they respond. Um, the shipment, they were very well insulated, I guess you could say, protected. Uh, cardboard boxes, no issues whatsoever. Uh, they suggested six AWG cables, 
I used four just because that's what I already had <clears throat> made up. And then, uh, yeah, let me uh, pull up their information here. Okay. Just for your knowledge, this is the uh, charging settings that they. Give you a lot of instructions. It's definitely, I, I buy a lot of stuff from China and uh, you know other places where the language barrier causes a big issue. Like it's just horrible. Uh, granted, you will see some issues like uh, let me see. You'll, you'll see some spelling spelling errors, but overall, it's very easy to understand what they're saying. The case is very high quality, nice and sturdy. The um, lug nuts are pretty solid. They give you extra ones, which is nice. sitting here power here it's a 240 split phase the only issue I have with this is their little Wi-Fi module is horrible um, they, they give it to you for free so it is what it is I got it to work once for like 10 minutes and then it lost signal and just never worked again um, I took it out of its case because there's a button you have to push to connect it and the hole that you got to push through is impossible to get to. So, yeah, not great. Um, for this, the uh, this is where the, the solar comes in. And there's two MPBT controllers in here. I only have one because I only have those four panels right now. I do have four more I can connect later, but I don't really need the power. With 300 amp hours, they will charge in four and a half hours with one of my arrays. So, in two hours, they're full. Um, let's see here, you got uh, two hot, hot, neutral, so you just run one to each side of your break box and then the neutral is the neutral. Uh, this input here, there's only two, um, two hots for the generator or grid power, really easy. Uh, ground, I have to just go into a ground bar <clears throat> right here where my car charge controllers and all my inverters are connected. Then it goes out to uh, to another bar, and then there's a in-ground stake. Ground everything out. Got other battery disconnects. Uh, fuses, 400 amp hours, what they recommend at Sigineer. And then I have 120 amps on the Midnight Solar Classics. Let's look at the uh, charge settings. All right. So these are what they say. 56 volts equalized, 55.2 absorbed, 54.7 float. This is 141 amp hours today. This one is 74 amp hours. So uh, this is the first first time I had them fully charged. I, I installed them yesterday around 4 p.m. or so. Uh, got a little bit of a charge on them. But they lasted all night with no issues. I was having the worst time sleeping with my Tesla modules because I'd have to go turn it on so my, none of my food goes bad at 1 in the morning. Um, this is my old inverter. It's a Spartan 6600 watt. They haven't had them in stock in a long time. Um, I just have it set up here in case this one were to fail. It's it's not connected. I got a little AC disconnect here. Uh, pretty basic. If I ever had issues, I just come in here, flip it on, and make sure this one's disconnected. All is good. Um, let's 
see. Now the Midnight Solar Classics connected to the network, so I could use the app to check everything. Um, what else? Yep, I mean, that's about everything there. Again, don't look at the mess. <laughs> The, uh, the Sigineer inverter is a little loud. Uh, you can definitely hear the fans run in the middle of the night. Not the middle of the night, but like if you're sitting watching TV and your window's open, which, whatever. I use these uh, eco-worthy combo boxes, which uh, this one seems to hold up pretty good. And then, like I said, I moved the shutoff switch inside, but if you always had to in an emergency, you just flip these down and it'll disconnect the... Uh, the circuit so easy peasy and then I did have another one that was a metal one eco worthy and the insides actually melted so that wasn't great um, this is my DIY solar rack uh, Use four by fours. It's pretty easy. Very sturdy. The only issue I had was this one. I did not bolt it down properly right here. So there's that, and then I put one over there too. That's my bad. Uh, it happens. I don't really need the voltage, so I don't care Like if it's putting out something cool. If not, oh well, I have plenty of power between these and all those, and it's all great. So, again, Amper Time, they're a good supplier. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I bought them all with my money. Uh, eBay, use eBay. They have a uh, no interest plans sometimes. You might, you might be able to get a 24 month no interest, or I might have got a 2.9%. I don't know. When you have to have power, you have to have power. My wife's not going to do without it. So, this is my little segue. Gets me around. Um, what do I run inside? I have two uh, window AC units from Medea, Medea Use. They're very efficient. Um, and then uh, I have TVs, you know, 70 inch, 40 inches, 1,000 tablets, 1,000 phones, charging all the time. So it is what it is. It's a pretty energy efficient home. It's a six by six construction. It's recessed into the the hill because we live on a hillside so sure go inside it's toasty. so there's my little slice of paradise Again, don't mind the mess. It bugs me, but I can only do so much. Um, that's about it. The uh, what else can I think about? Sigineer. Oh yeah, the big thing. It weighs 165 pounds. It took me and my father-in-law, who's six five, 310 pounds to get it up uh, we mounted it uh, we, we put a board down and then we put it on the board and then screwed it into the studs um, also the the room is a uh, fireproof drywall so that's nice it's insulated and um, in the winter time I put something up to block that vent on the top so that it keeps nice and warm I have a small space heater, 700 watt or something, 
that turns on uh, usually like an hour or two before the sun comes up to prevent any issues with uh, low temperature charging because you can't charge lithium phosphate batteries at the time it was lithium ion uh, when it's below freezing so to counteract that I just installed a heater and kept the eye on it once the sun comes up the the heat from the charge controllers and the inverter pretty much uh, keep it nice and toasty in there um, yeah that's about it if you have any questions comments other than my yard being trashed let me know uh, thanks have a great day